Uh, firstly, a 4-1 victory today against Atherton Collieries. What did you make of the game? Um, I thought they made it difficult. Not a lot of sides come here and try something new, which I think they tried to do. And in the first half, they, they kept us thinking with the 11 coming inside, dropping into like a diamond. So I think at half-time it was just for us to take a breather and sort out what we were going to do. But the early goal from myself, which were good, um, helped us out with that. So we still had that breathing space. However, we wanted to sort out... It's not usually teams move us about like that, so I think it was us to just get a proper foothold in the game and I think Wedge coming on at half-time really helped to solidify in the midfield and sort that problem out. Uh, despite the 4-1 scoreline, as you've sort of touched on there, it was really a hard-fought win, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a difficult game. I think like they've come here with a game plan. Um, they've obviously identified some things that they want to do and where they can feel like they can break us down or whatever. And I think like half time come round and we sorted it out and we kind of sometimes you have to have them hard fought. Not every week's going to be a seven 0 win, um, so them hard fought um, wins are sometimes good for us as well. Uh, again, like Tuesday night, we've scored an early goal today. How important do you think that was in the overall result? Well, when teams are travelling to us, I think getting that early goal. Um, knocking their confidence and really putting us on front foot really helps us and it, it just sets them back and uh, if we keep doing that and we keep ramming it down the throats then we're only going to see positives from it. Uh, after that goal the half maybe didn't pan out as how we thought it would have done. How impressed were you here of Atherton? Yeah, really impressed. Like I said, they've come here and tried tried something, which is um, good. Kept us thinking. Not a lot of teams do that. Um, and like you say, some some weeks are going to be tough wins, and you've got to take them tough wins. And these points will will make up the numbers come the end of the season. Obviously, it was yourself who got the opening goal. Can you talk us through it a little bit? Great goal, wasn't it? Great goal. I think with Jay playing on the same side as Jay, I think Jay's kind of a, he does it all himself. So sometimes I have to just sit back and admire. Um, and with Alex coming into that pocket, I seen an opportunity to get a little bounce, a little one-two. Um, and then I just went on this amazing run and I absolutely whipped it into it. Oh, it's a great goal, by the way. It's a great. And then I finished it off with a little Conor McGregor. Um, can you just describe the feeling of scoring uh, your first league start since your injury and your first competitive goal for the Tigers? Yeah, unbelievable. I, I feel like I really needed it. I come on the other day and I felt like confidence was just not there. Like I felt like I were a bit like scarce when I was touching the ball, second-guessing myself. But today I thought it was there for me. I had a good warm-up and I thought I'm going for it. And then to get an early goal like that, you can't think I wrote better, to be honest. Um, how important do you feel the third goal was when at a time they were sort of coming back into it, they scored to make it 2-1, uh, do you think it settled us down a little bit? Yeah, well you think you think the second goal, you think there we go, like, and then obviously the third goal goes in, a bit of miscommunication or whatever, um, and then it's a bit up in arms, but I feel like, <coughs> sorry, I feel like we still stay composed, I feel like we still were, were, were on with the task and we knew what we were doing, so I didn't really feel uh, under pressure as so, but I think getting the third goal just gives you a breathing space, obviously. It's another four goals today, which takes us to 11 in two games. Does that show our attacking power when yourself has scored today as a defender, Alex and Jay have scored as midfielders, that we don't have to rely purely on Hughesy or any of the strikers? Yeah, I think... We've got a lot of players that can score goals. We've got Vaughan and Alex creating and scoring goals from midfield, which is brilliant. And Luke and Jay coming from either side. And then obviously we're getting me forward. I know Josh did it a lot last year while I was just watching him. But yeah, we can get goals from anywhere, really. It's two wins out of two now in our like little mini run of home games. How important is it to win our home games in a league like this? Yeah, it's massive. I mean, we've got to make this place a fortress. I mean, since I've been here, we've only lost one, which was Mikkel over uh, not so long ago. And in the league, I don't think I've lost here. So I think making this place a fortress is massive. And everyone knows when they're coming here, it's going to be a tough day. And you, you re very rarely pick up three points. We're now unbeaten in the league for six matches. Uh, what a perfect time to be coming into form with a busy period coming up. Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, like obviously, when you look at the first game of the season, when, FC, when we played FC United, it were a bit like, wow. And then you come and look at it now. We're doing well in the league. We're unbelievable, and we look like the, the informed team, and we look like a team that's gonna that that's a proper team, and we're gonna do things in the league this year. Next up for us is Stafford Rangers at home. How much are the lads looking forward to another home performance and hopefully another victory? Yeah, we'll keep the home games coming thick and fast. I know we've got a, a busy schedule of away games near Christmas, so I think getting the points in in the home games gives us a lot more confidence into going into them away games and knowing we can set that standard and set a gap between us and, and everyone else. So winning the home games is, is massive for us. 
And how different is it to play a team like Stafford like today that are at the bottom of the uh, table, maybe scrapping for every point they can get? Is it a different type of game that we have to play? Um, no, I think the mentality can from from other teams, not from ourselves. Some of the mentality can be different sometimes, so it is why they don't pick up points. But for us, I think we can scrap it with teams because we've got we've got the presences of your Hamzas, your Hughes, your Hugheses that you can hit. Um, so I think when if it does get scrappy, we can always turn to that. But obviously, we've got as great footballers in Terry um, that can control the game as well. So I feel like we've got the best of both worlds, really.